Dreams are like angels, they keep at a bay. Love is the light, scaring darkness away. I'm so in love with you.
hoodie glue Keep the vampires from your door When the chips are down, I'll be around With my undying death to fight Love is like an energy Rushing and rushing inside of me
Shall we turn to Genesis chapter 2, verse 24? Genesis chapter 2, verse 24. It reads, Therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. And what do you say to the Lord? We will now call on Meeting Kings International SDA Choir to give us a special number.
fome. is good and all the time I believe that today's language should be Italiano come and stay, come and stay. Yeah. Pastor Terry we are lost <laughs> I feel that we are in Italy but however um, heaven will be sweet heaven will be sweet we thank the Lord once again, and uh, Adrian and um, Yvonne, today is your day. Today is your day. The day that you have been longing for. And at long last, look at the sea of people in this world. Jesus loves you. I have three words for you. We're going to work on three words. Live, cleave, weave. Can we say all that together? Live, cleave, weave. So these are the three main words that we are going to work around in the next few moments. Bow your heads and let us pray. Gracious Lord, we give ourselves to you. At this particular moment, oh God, we do plead with you that you speak to all of us more pertinently to Yvonne and the in no time husband. We pray this in your holy name. Amen. Amen. Ed. Edwin. Do you remember the first time that you saw Yvonne? Can you remember that day? Me, I can still remember mine. Even sitting here, I cast my eye over there. I see my wife out there. Darling, I love you too, you know. Yeah. Some 20 something years ago in the church, and uh, I saw this young lady walking there. I love you walk, you know. Then, you see, do you remember that day that you saw her? That beautiful girl, maybe she was singing. I don't know, I'm just guessing. And you say, wow, oh, this one has to be mine one day. And uh, maybe you remember the first time that you, you were not aware and uh, as you were trying to talk to her and accidentally your hand touched her hand and instead of leaving the hand, you still held the hand and said, wow. 
Her hand is in my mind. You remember that day, right? You remember. <laughs> and, and the chills that went through you. Maybe even you would remember that the day that you were longing for the call. You were waiting for the voice of uh, Edwin and uh, she's not called yet. I, I'm not sleeping. I know she will call. And uh, you were just waiting and all, all of a sudden the call came through and you just pick up and, and throughout the night you spoke and spoke and when you became aware it was around 4 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and the night passed by and you never saw that the night was passing but do you remember when literally you saw that you were in love and uh, you wanted to be together as a team? And hopefully you made commitment to yourselves and you proposed that commitment. And those days, those days is what has brought all of us to this assembly here today. We don't know how, but you've managed to pull us here because there's something called chemistry. In lieu of that, I would like you to take note of these few things that I'm about to tell you. You would like to have make a deal. The deal of getting marriage, the deal of excitement, the deal of everybody saying, we are going to MK, the deal of the wedding, the arrangement, and everything. That's the deal. That's the deal. And you long to live forever. And with that sweet voice, maybe you'll be singing the baritone, the baritone and she'll be singing the soprano, the deal. And you're longing for the day that you live in the house together. You are dreaming. But sometimes when you do dream and you want to make a deal. Sometimes the deal turns out to be an ordeal. And you would realize that that Prince Charming sitting over there conducting and the guy that you want to be with him for life, he turns out to be somebody odd, different from you. And But by tomorrow morning when the when all the makeups and the wheels and everything will be over, then you see the lady that you married. <laughs> I'm talking of when in real life, when real life sets in, when the in-laws are on you and the finances become very complex and you are unable to, 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 to pay your bills and the communication is something complex and when work-related issues come in, and when all of us sitting here are nowhere to be found, then the deal that you are trying to make today becomes an ordeal, and it becomes extremely difficult. And when the actual person you are marrying, the pomposity of the very person, not the innocent girl that you see today, not the angel sitting there like, being a nice guy comes in. When you see these circumstances, then you say that we try to make a deal and the deal has become an ordeal. When marriages are breaking up and the circumstances are very complex, I want to tell you something. Because today we have come to marry you in the presence of God. Even when life is very difficult, it is only God who can separate the two of you. In other words, not those ordeals, not those troubles of life, nothing should separate the two of you. And that should be your focus you know, there are so many problems in marriages today. But I'm convinced that by the power of Jesus Christ, the two of you can live together. Amen. You see, I have in my hand a microphone. And this microphone is being used 
for a particular purpose. So that when I speak through the microphone, those over there can hear my voice. Marriage is there and uh, marriage has a purpose. The purpose of marriage is unity. It's love. It's companionship. So you should know the use of this microphone. You should know the use of marriage. She, he is not your enemy. The best friend ever that you ever have in this world. Therefore, in Genesis chapter 2, verse 24, you are told, for this reason, for the fact that marriage is a deal from God, Edwin will leave his mother, his sister, his friends, those he goes out with in the night when nobody is there. Just forget about them. Today, they are here and you are telling them, guys, no more. I'm putting all of you aside and I'm leaving all of you behind. I'm going to a special lady in life. Maybe some of them may have some nice character traits. Because boys being boys, you know. You know what boys can do. Sometimes we can, we can make jokes and fun and, and just laugh after each other and at each other. Sometimes you can even go and make some nice, silly things. Some even can go out and be drinking and, and all those kind of things. But today, you are marrying somebody and you are telling somebody that you are leaving all those things behind. 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 And when you are leaving all those things behind, even you are telling mom and dad and siblings, even all the chase, you are telling them that mom and dad, thank you very much for bringing me up thus far. Today, I'm telling you that on Apple. Goodbye, mom and dad. Wave to dad. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Wave to Yvonne. Wave to mom and dad and say bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> The waving at the chair tells that you have handed him, her over to him. Exchange of power. In no time, she will never be called chair anymore. It means that don't support her. Don't give her all the monies that we have been giving to her. She's telling you that she's matured enough, enough to go in for this gentleman. Unye be man kwanko wari. Now you are getting married. All the advice will not come from mommy anymore. Mom? Mom? Yeah. All the advice is not coming from you anymore. For this cause, the two of them will leave you behind and be cleaved to each other. So you are living and cleaving. What did I say? You are living you are leaving the friends behind. You are leaving mom behind. You are leaving aunties behind. You are leaving all the bad ways of life behind. And today you are going to cleave to each other. You are going to cleave to each other. All those emotional dependencies are over. You see, I was reading a story and I learned that Whenever your child is 12 years old, if by then you've not told the child how to choose a man, how to choose a woman, then that is too late. In other words, any other advice that mom and dad were supposed to have given to you, they have given to you. They did not choose for the two of you. You chose each other, right? And because you have chosen the two of you, you're going to cleave together. And by cleaving together, you are going to pray together. We are told that remember the wife of your youth. Keep your covenant. In no time, Pastor Terry is going to say something and you go say after him and you, be, you go like this. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. In sickness, in death. 
until God put us asunder. Any kind of life that you are going to live together. Sometimes troubles may come from nowhere. But if you let go of those kind of troubles and concentrate on the marriage, I promise you in the name of our Father, Jesus Christ, that you'll be the best couple on this, in this life. You may be getting a lot of advice from other ladies somewhere. They may be very, very important. But the most important person that Yvonne, you may have to trust, is this one here. I want to tell you something. And by living and cleaving, I'm telling you that whatever I told them, I don't want you to know. But are you interested in whatever I told you? Yes, please. Are you very interested? More fire. In other words, whatever I told them is after 9 p.m. business. Hello. Because you are going to cleave together. You are with leaving them there. You are going to cleave together and you are going to weave your lives together. In the morning, the two of you are supposed to pray together and weave yourself together. Her burdens are your burdens. Henceforth, when she's in trouble, she's not going to call daddy in Italy. Hello? And you're not going to lie to her anymore. Hello? Is that very important? Whatever I told him, you know it. And that's not for public consumption. Because walls have years. I pray that especially on the second thing I told you, that is between the two of us, God will be our witness here today. You intend to weave together spiritually, emotionally, economically, everythingly. In the name of the Father, respect each other. For this cause, the two of you are going to live together. May God be your witness. May the Lord himself support you through this journey. Though life may be very difficult, but if you bank your hope in Jesus Christ, I bet you by living, you can cleave and weave. May God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. We now call upon uh, Golden Gate to give us a special song. Golden Gate. Shall we welcome them with a big amen?
time, a time of the exchange of vows, and these vows are very sacred and very important because they symbolize the joining of two as one. And it's marvelous today that both Edwin and Yvonne are here on this very special day when both Edwin and Yvonne will become one. So I'm going to ask at this time, Edwin and Yvonne, for you to stand. And you're going to join with me in these very special moments as we say some very special words together. Before we begin, uh, just a word to all of those here that are married that as you listen to these vows, pledge to recommit yourselves to each other once more as we go through these very special words together for both Yvonne and Edwin. Dearly beloved, we are gathered together here in the sight of God and in the presence of this assembly to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate instituted by God in the time of man's innocency, signifying to Christians the mystical union between Christ and his church, which holy estate Christ blessed and adorned by his presence and with the first miracle that he wrought in Cana of Galilee and is further commended to us by the Apostle Paul as worthy of all honour and intended to promote a deeper union with our Lord himself. Therefore, not by any to be contemplated nor entered into unadvisedly, lightly or wantonly, but reverently, soberly and in the fear of God, duly considering that matrimony was divinely ordained for mutual help and comfort that the one needs from the other and should receive both in prosperity and adversity. Into this holy estate 
these two persons here present come now to be solemnly and inseparably joined. Therefore, if any man can show just cause why they may not lawfully be joined together, let him now speak, or else hereafter forever hold his peace. You are safe. <laughs> I require and charge you both, as you shall answer in the day of judgment, when the secrets of all hearts shall be disclosed, that if either of you know any cause or impediment why you may not be lawfully joined together in matrimony, you do now confess it. For you be well assured that any who are coupled together otherwise than as God's worth doth allow, are not joined together by God, neither is their marriage lawful. And now, Edwin, I want you to repeat these words after me. I do solemnly declare, I do solemnly declare, that I know not, that I know not, of any lawful impediment, of any lawful impediment, why I, Edwin Kofi Boateng, why I, Edwin Kofi Boateng, may not be joined together in matrimony, may not be joined together in holy matrimony, to Yvonne Birago Che, to Yvonne Brago Adipache. And now I turn to you, Yvonne, and you repeat the same words after me. I do solemnly declare. That I know not. That's it. Let, we'll start that again. We want your words to be fully heard. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I know not. That I know not. Of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I, Yvonne Birago Che. Why I, Yvonne may not be joined together in matrimony may not be joined together in matrimony to Edwin Kofi Boateng to Edwin Kofi Boateng thank you I'm now going to turn to Edwin and I want you to answer this question wilt thou have this woman to be thy wedded wife to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony, wilt thou love her, comfort her, honour her, cherish her, in sickness and in health, and in forsaking all other, keep thee only unto her so long as you both shall live? I do. And now, Yvonne, I will ask the same question. Wilt thou have this man to be thy wedded husband, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony. Wilt thou love, honour and cherish him in sickness and in health and forsaking all other, keep thee only unto him so long as you both shall live? I will. Wonderful, wonderful. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? To be my lawful wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better for worse. For better for worse. For richer for poorer. For richer for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinances. 
And to this I give my word. And to this I give my word. And now And now I will say the same words for you, Yvonne. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. To witness that I, Yvonne Biragoche. To witness that I, Yvonne Biragoche. Do take thee, Edwin Kofi Boteng. Do take thee, Edwin Kofi Boteng. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And to this I give my word. And to this I give my word. Well done. Well done. Yvonne, Medisa Ringi, a show, Edia Ashen, so dear Sene Day, Oya Mayeri, Winnipeg in any na Medimnocre DC and Wawa, Semedo, Akusiri, a rather more. that they be husband and wife together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. At this time, 
at this special moment where two people have become as one. It's a wonderful blessing. It's a wonderful moment. And at this time, before we say the prayer of blessing, Edwin, you have my permission. You have my permission to kiss the bride. going to ask the pastors to join me as we say the prayer of blessing together. Before I do the prayer of dedication, I would like to leave you with the capsules I carry from Italy to here. The capsules in there in my car. That is our PC capsules. Going to give it to you, and it's L means love, V means patience, and C means compromise. Don't go out without taking that capsule, please. This is important part of the marriage that we should respect. In fact, you shouldn't have kiss without the prayer of dedication. Wow, we forgive you. We are going to do prayer. Of, but you have a song that we have to give it to you before. Please, we are waiting on you. Before we do the prayer of dedication, I would like all the elders to stand wherever you are, stand up, please. All the ordained elders, please. What is going on, please? God's grace, 
we are on set. May God bless you as we are going to dedicate your marriage unto the Lord. I believe that the Lord will continue to shower his blessings upon you. Shall we need them? And now, please, when you, we reach the time that we have to raise our hands, elders, do so for me. Eja tun fuo Eja wonwani onyame awado ye do so ne so ma nyina so Asidan kan wudin da o ye kese na o kasa bibiara ye yi Eja wa kasa enti na nebrei o supporting any event e kan yo ho abom se awarefo Asidan kan wudin da I don't know who said that a bebasso. Sabrea radiate to on a warrior, I shall won't say. I dear your how a man near dear, Pogu Quetri Trimaye. A Jamis Raw say, A brown penny for any was off what the answer at any one's way. Mr. Ostruinshra, Mr. Ostru, a hoarding. A ja Sabre. Una o bo awa odi awa re si ho na kan se mo won sha sa si so de e da won akoma pro so awrade en fan kame won da ma won fie enye yie e da me so ma wo mo aho din yare dom de yi kwa chiri chiri patu wu e be bo won fie de yi kwa chiri chiri ne o asasi su enhira e ye sika de awrade me so se so mu su fro no mu di no kra ma wa nyame de fo hira won e ja mi so se obi wo ho a wo di na table be bo aware e mu a obo nsam be ba ifidu e ni mu a yi ni ko e chiri chiri ma ye na urade ye sra o suru hira me bi nkan fidu e nan ka busu afo a e won che nyi nara ene du e yi ye hira o wusu bo ate ye hira ivom brago e urade mi so Mana ma wo mu nu wo mu ho da wo mu asetron betran nyina no ma ne nyi enhira koso ne hira wo mu me bi nka asafo wo mu wo mu me bi nka wo mu fidio mu wo mu me bi nka abusuafo nyina ra nyame aja nyame oba nyame ho kron kron so won ka aware ye ho a semo ye tie ye vows ye tie ye Dedication of prayer, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ni ni na abe ya kwa. Na so wu nyami wu omu diya. Ye nu se bibi abe wye peye. E ne duye yi. Mi tu wansha wansha. Mi tu wansha wansha. Mi tu wansha wansha. Nami eja mi tu wansha wansha. Nami oba mi tu wansha wansha. Nami honkron kron mi tu wansha wansha. Na diye chen su wane se. Nami ma wanshira no. E nonson. E ma wong. E wo wana wu om. E wo wansike mu. I want to say, 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 I wo kania ebe yiwe ne yia nyame de fo emfa nka me no obi wo ha wo su epe kun a obi esu epe oyira nyame de fo sho ho anu onyam e na ye bo mpa ye nyame aja me sro ye de meeting kings asa fo sho won sa nyame e ma yo be bre wo e ma me bre wo e me ma me bre wo a wo mo pe e yira ne ekun nyame de fo me sro ma wishira ne no so ma die ivon any coffee button aye enye se na ho e ma youngsters awu wo mu nyinara na mi eja na mi oba na mi mo nkon kon se aware eko so a na de biere e be sori an opa ni enwure bia no de de aye ye ni nkan fo be ma wodin na mi wo ye kese e na mi eja na mi oba me die abusu afo hye wo sa 
Medi awari fwe yi, ebu siya fwe yi na asha wansa. So obi owa, obo nsambe fano so, no di basa basa ye, abe fidu ye bi mwa, yifri homa ye. Nyame, mi tu wansha wansa, ye chatu. Mi tu wansha wansa, nyame eja. Mi tu wansha wansa, nyame oba. Mi tu wansha wansa, nyame hong kong kong. Le kanya hon, ma sumi, emye peye. Ye mye yo, si ye be free hapo reception hon. Ye di basa basa ye be badye, ye kwe chiri chiri ma ye. Na wun chila no no son wo yin so. Let that was it. We did it. Amen. Here you are with your certificate. Munina Monsorani Mompai. We want to thank you, Lord, for Edwin and Yvonne, who have now become as one. Bless them, Lord. Bless their marriage abundantly. And we want to pray, Lord, that they will have a marriage fit for heaven. A marriage that will be a tremendous example to those around. And I want to pray, Lord, that you will also grant them eternal life together forever and ever is our prayer today in Jesus name Amen
protect you from the hoodie glue Keep the vampires from your door When the chips are down, I'll be around With my undying death defying love for you Envy will hurt itself Let yourself be beautiful Sparkling like flowers and pearls and pretty girls Love is like an energy Rushing and rushing inside of me Is pleasure, love is pure, the art.